Should our youths dress like toots, i.e. prostitutes? What? Yes. What? Well, TLC's Toddlers and Tierras is getting tarred after featuring a three-year-old wearing Julia Roberts' hooker outfit from Pretty Woman. Jeez Louise. Ridiculous. I don't get outraged. Well, I do, but this is really amazing. The, said the Parents Television Council in a statement, quote, <laughs> there's no question TV executives are complicit in robbing these small kids of their childhood. This is like an onion skit. Meanwhile, the girl's mother told TMZ that, quote, no harm was done to my child. At least I'm not forcing her into sports and getting my child oh, come on. injured like some parents. Child services. Uh, you are a true hero in all of this. We're going to discuss this in the lightning round. <laughs> Lightning round. I probably would laugh at this, but it, it still creeps me out. It is utterly creepy <laughs> and utterly offensive. I mean, this is the best argument for why some parents should get a license first yeah. before they're allowed to have children. To allow your baby to walk across in a prostitute outfit is reprehensible and disgraceful. I'm really angry about it. Oh, I'll pass to the next guy. Oh, I'm so upset. The scary thing, Kevin, is some little man, like a, a, a little person, might think she's just a midget hooker. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. I mean, what you really need in this situation is a three-foot-tall brass pole, yeah. right? For these little kids. I mean, <laughs> you don't have to be told not to dress a three-year-old up like a whore. Uh, yeah. What is the mean, matter with you people? It, it really is. Like, I, uh, these people should be horsewhipped. They should be horsewhipped. Dana, um... I, I, say, I think the mother's argument has some logical validity. <laughs> I cry. I don't know why five-year-olds should be able to play toddler football and simulate brutishly killing other people in the primal state. They shouldn't state. do both. They and shouldn't a, do and a young girl shouldn't be able to experience the exquisite thrill <laughs> of, harnessing, of harnessing the reproductive power as a, uh, as a wage-making force. So, there, yeah, there's, there's some logical point there with the football. I thing. don't even know what you just said. I have a headache. But listen, we've got, <laughs> we've got pedophiles out there. We've got pedophiles, pedophiles pigs you know, out there. And it's disgusting. What is wrong with these parents? That's true. Actually, this show is probably not watched by people who, for the reasons we think it is, it's for that reason. Yeah, that re pigs. Oh, that, absolutely. It's yeah. disgraceful. This was financed by two American studies professors from Kenyon College. <laughs> this show is terrible. <laughs> Bill, you... You were actually the first taught on Toddlers and Tierras back in the late 70s. Mm. Did it scar you? No. Look, what, look, look, look at me now. It brought me to the sidekickery stage I'm at. Yeah. But it gets worse. It gets worse. Speaking of Richard Gere movies, the next <laughs> mom brought out a toddler dressed as Diane Keaton from Looking for Mr. Goodbar. Right? Oh, my God. It was awful. She just sat there at that little bar with her book, waiting for a little tot to come by. It was terrible. Shut this Bill, TV, sh that TV show down that, that does that. That's got it down. I mean, that Bill is a point. has a point, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to tell you. Look, sex is a commodity. There's no getting around it. Yeah, you, not you, with you, children. You think it's a beautiful flower not that grows on trees? What? <laughs> here's the, my head's uh, gonna explode. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's you know nothing feels... sacred in this oh, mitochondrial terror dome. I know he's. I know he's. <laughs> I not, he's, he's being sarcastic. But here's the thing. <laughs> what does this woman do with the photo album when the kids? The, let's say, you know, they're sitting around, she's home from college, they're point. sitting around, and, oh, this is when I dressed you up as a whore. And you know what? You see that baby walking across that stage going, what am I doing? No, it's you just... Can it, see it, the, who even makes the maybe, clothes? Maybe yeah, a who subject... Who makes the clothes? Maybe, yeah, maybe, the, clothes? maybe the subject of maybe. our next story had some instruction like this in her early life, she wouldn't have ended up where she is. Who? Well, we'll find out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's our first guest tease. I know. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Oh, now I get it. <laughs> you have ruined the spawn. That was a brilliant segue. Jeez Louise. All right. Is Monica, Le <laughs> Is Monica Lewinsky making a career move? According to the National Enquirer, so who knows what's true, she wants to get into public relations. Yes, PR. Lewinsky is apparently still unemployed, living in her parents' house and relying on her family's money. Uh, said a source who, of course, is unnamed because it is the National Enquirer. Uh, I'm not going to you, Dana. Uh, Monica's <laughs> self-esteem is at an all-time low. That little girl looked pretty proud of herself. <laughs> but don't you? You've got to feel bad for her, right? Of course I do. Of course yeah, I mean... Oh, Monica or the little girl? Monica Lewinsky. I feel bad for both. I think, yeah, Monica is like a victim of of five overlapping hypocrisies in the culture. Right. She's, be, you know, derided by those and betrayed by others and, 
and then here she wants to join the press that has ruined her ability to be to be anything original or unique. It's terribly sad. Well, you said something in the break that it's like it's not like she got worse, we got worse. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> she becomes sympathetic because we've been so awful and not letting her go on with her life. Well, yeah. the, you know what? The media has attacked her. And you know who abandoned her? Feminists abandoned her. Yeah. And, Danny, you made that point. That's absolutely right. Women abandoned Monica Lewinsky. I feel badly for her. When she even tries to ride a bicycle, photographers try to chase after her, take pictures of her rear end. Leave the, wo the poor woman alone. I, thought I, was I the do only feel one. badly yeah. for her. <laughs> right. Usually, you know how you, I get rid of them? I start throwing things at them, but it, it doesn't stop them at all. <laughs> Kevin, do you think this story is real? It is from the Inquirer, but I'm assuming this is kind of real. Yeah, I and mean, there's a great thing about waking up in the morning and seeing a Monica Lewinsky link on the Drudge Report. I felt like I was back in college. Yeah. It, was, it was a pretty good feeling. What I, if I were Monica Lewinsky, the last career I would go into is anything that says public in yeah. the front of it. I mean, she is like the basket case of public relations. She did worse public relations for herself than anyone else in her generation has ever done. Well, no, she didn't, you know, do, she any, her... no, she didn't do any public relations. She became a recluse, even from the point of that scandal, the Clinton scandal, going forward. Well, when you, you have sex see, with the president of the United States, you're doing public relations for yourself, because it's going to come out. No, you're not. You know, you so are making that was, decisions. She was 23 years old. Make you no, a public... she if she hadn't gotten fat, well, she would be a one. beloved figure. Yeah. I, if she had a makeover, you're right. She yeah. needed to like. She needed to have a physical phoenix moment. If she had grown up to be hot, leave Monica. She would, she would Everybody be Monica leave here Monica and not a figure in a photo. Alone. Here's the leave thing. her alone. I got. I got. I got to move on. But Bill, the big, big mistake is why do why do women who are pseudo celebrities always go into handbags? Yeah, and yeah. It she never, did it never that. works out. Yeah. Handbags because old people, people who are good no, at making handbags, or face sorry, creams, make handbags, or face creams, it, or it's, yeah. it's, it, I mean, if you understand why men dream of being astronauts, you'll understand why women dream of being famous handbag designers. All right then. Oh, I love Although to be I, with the male chauvinist club. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the Freudian society. It's not the male chauvinist club. I think each is an equally bizarre thing to want to do. All right. <laughs> she should only hope to be barefoot and pregnant. That's what women were put here to do. It's I got voting so much. I gotta take. A a break. Uh, and now watch me do something for a few seconds. <laughs> you just made me be like a feminist. I'm being that